All right, let's step aside and check on with Isabella. It was very sunny out there, but also fall like perfect if you're going off to a football game tonight. Absolutely. Things are very nice outside. They will start to get cooler, though, so I'd advise to bring along a blanket or layer up a couple jackets, maybe even mittens, because temperatures will drop pretty low tonight. But right now, through satellite and radar, we are seeing some light cloud cover moving across the region mostly coming from our northwest. These clouds, though, will start to fizzle out later tonight. We can see them on City Kim 8 along with this beautiful sunset. This is actually really cool. I didn't see this before now. And we're seeing all these pretty colors, the orange, the pink. This is absolutely gorgeous. We rose to a high today of 63 and a low of 43, both of which very close to where we should be this time of year. Our average high, usually 62, and our average low, 42. So really only a degree above. Now, we did start the morning off, though, relatively chilly. Some of our communities were in the 30s, um, Eau Claire 37, Black River Falls 31 and Sparta 32, but things have warmed up significantly right now. 57 at the La Crosse Airport. It feels like 57, but that wind is pretty gusty out there. Temperatures right now in those 50s. We will start to see some of our temperatures dropping into the 40s. We're already getting pretty close in Eau Claire. But we'll start to see many of us hanging on to these middle 50 temperatures, 55 in Black River Falls, 52 in Decorah, and 57 in Prairie du Chien. Dew points nice and low, followed by that cold air mass that we saw move in yesterday, bringing us very nice and low dew points. But these winds overall pretty gusty, anywhere between about 5 to almost 20 miles per hour in some spots. So if you have time, make sure everything outside is secured. Looking at satellite and, um, excuse me, sky tracker for the rest of tonight, we will see mostly clear skies, just some passing clouds overnight. Saturday morning, though, very gusty winds. Once again, they'll start to fizzle out in the mid afternoon to evening hours, and we will stay nice and clear headed into Sunday. Let's go ahead and take a look at your zone forecast for tonight. Temperatures dropping down into those mid middle to upper 30s and lower 40s. So overall, a pretty cool night. Once again, probably a good night to maybe even kick on the heat because things are going to be very cool tomorrow. A little bit warmer. Most of us still pretty seasonable for this time of year. Those upper 50s and lower 60s, lots of sunshine though, so that will help our temperatures ever so slightly, at least our feels like temperatures, and we will just see a couple of passing clouds. But for tonight, we're dropping down to 41 degrees. It'll be clear and breezy, seasonable. There is a potential for some patchier frost, but because of those gustier winds, it actually limits the potential for that to um, develop. So just keep that in mind as well. This weekend, things looking very seasonable and breezy on Saturday with a high of 62. Sunday, lots of sun. Sunshine, a lot warmer. 68 is going to be the high. That sunshine lingering into the beginning of next week. Those temperatures take a boost into the 70s, but drop back down midweek. We could see a couple slight chances of some showers come Thursday, but things clear back up by next Friday and Saturday, and those temperatures drop to the upper 50s. Tyler? It looks like summer is hanging on just a little bit longer, just kind of clinging on there. Do you have any, uh, any, any plans for the nice weather? You know, on Monday and Tuesday, not so much, but it is going to be sunny, so I would say spend the afternoon, evening, enjoy some dinner outside before those temperatures drop to the 50s. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing either. Just go outside for a walk, maybe? Yeah, All right. there you go. All right, sounds good. Thanks a lot, Sabella.